Hello gamers, uh, Pet here. Welcome to Pet Plays Football Manager 2014, Season 4, Episode 3. Well, from now on, I'm going to try to put out an episode every Sunday. So if you are interested in seeing uh, the Football Manager series, every Sunday there should be an episode up. Hopefully. <laughs> As I've said before, uh, sometimes I'm playing the game like a madman for 12 hours straight. And sometimes I'm uh, getting a bit more passive. And now since with um, with GamerPad, go to GamerPad.com. Uh, I have a new website and there are a couple of shows that I want to do. As I've said before several times, uh, this is not really a Let's Play channel. I don't really enjoy creating Let's Play content. Even that I'm playing Football Manager, I'm trying to make it as a show to have a format and stuff like that anyway. And so people seem to enjoy it, so I decided to just continue with it, just because that. So, um, yeah, also, go to GamerPet.com uh, slash giveaway. I'm going to do weekly giveaways, uh, mainly Dota 2 items and Steam games. If I'm going to get other stuff in the future, uh, you're going to see it there. But this is what I have uh, for now. So this is what uh, it has been happening. Uh, Newcastle 2-3. Uh, away on their stadium, so let's have a fast look. I don't really remember this game. Lewis Smith, uh, I mean, it's 13 with a game. Let's actually, well, is it three? Yes, it's look, it was snowing. And then Smith, pretty pathetic. Who was the goalkeeper? Uh, you, you will see exactly why I'm looking on who Valdez. Okay, and even that I had a lot more shots, I still lost it. Minute 32. Smith in the flank, passing to Coyle, going inside, Smith, Ferguson with a pretty good uh, header, congrats to him I guess, and again we are seeing the celebration too long, a minute uh, 55, uh, what the hell, no, not that one, a minute 55 uh, we had um, a penalty which we are not going to see, but he means 61, Javier Hernandez, Javier, actually, Javier Hernandez, right? Managed to score. Pretty good goal, actually, I remember this one. Or, no, it wasn't that one, but this was, was still decent. And then he means 17, they score again. I was uh, a bit annoyed. Honda, Honda, Obertan, and Ferguson again with the goal. So, grats to them, they won. Then we had 3-0 uh, with York in the FA Cup, 4-1 with Southampton, basically Vladimir Weiss, and the goalkeeper got injured, by the way. We had to put Valdez in. Faraoni with a long throw, this is how I'm doing the throws now, long throws like that, because Faraoni has a long throw skill. Minute 23, a corner, Cocker was there, good job. Minute 25, Chris Wood for Southampton. Both goal, nicely done. Um, and then minute 45 plus 2, another long throw. And this was weird, but Bocchetti was there. So, and also an own goal, I mean 74. Kearney with a. Yeah, it was still maybe a cockle goal, but anyway, let me see. It's going to all tab. No, it's okay. Uh, it, it's still strange. Whenever I'm recording uh, and I see the 3D, I'm getting a feeling that you don't have too many uh, frames per second when you are seeing that 3D. So l let me actually tell you what happened. You know how I, I, I said that Valdez was um, happy, he, he wanted a new contract? Well, he was he's going to join Atletico. So we lost Valdez. I tried to offer him a better contract. He still wants to leave. And Atletico actually has this go guy as a goalkeeper. Well, this is it. This is Valdez who's going to leave. Composure 20, concentration 19, anticipation 18, positioning. Ah, he's good. He's good. But anyway, he got injured, so <laughs> we are basically playing with our guy, our 18 years old guy, who is still having, um, you know, two stars current ability, four stars potential ability, personality determined, who is pretty good. Speci uh, 
Aerial ability is the weakest, but specific aspect as you know strong uh, is uh, important matches, which is pretty pretty good, right? Handling 14, that's good. I mean, there are a lot of goalkeepers who have this number and they are very good. Command of the area 17, communication 14. Uh, what else is important? Only 12 at uh, one on ones. Reflexes 15, so it's very good. Rushing out 15, so it's very good. Work rate uh, also very good. But then positioning 13, anticipation 11. And composure and concentration only 12. So and determination 18, which is okay. Mm. So we have to do some working, but hopefully he's going to improve right now. So I'm still training him at handling. I want him to go a bit more. Even that Yeah, the, the goal the assistant manager suggests to train uh, him as uh, goal kicks. But I don't really care about that that much. I mean it is important, but Somehow I prefer handling better than kicking, right? And I guess that, look, concentration got a bit improved. Composure, anticipation, nothing. But anyway, I I've been playing with him since then. So basically Southampton, I lost with Chelsea. Uh, the goalkeeper was still Valdez. I didn't want to risk, but we kind of lost. We had no chance. Let's see a goal. Welles, minute uh, 53. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty happy that Eurosport is now broadcasting the Premier League in my uh, in in Romania. For the first half of the season, we had no broadcasting and I couldn't watch any games. But even as I've said before, and some of you might know me, um, I don't really watch a lot of football. I find it somehow boring. Well, sometimes I, I watch World Cup and um, Euro Cup because you know. This is when the teams are actually fighting for it, but anyway. Uh, then 0-0 zero zero with Birmingham, 4-1 with Aston Villa. It was pretty surprising. The goalkeeper was uh, the young guy. And look, Salvatore Bocchetti, who's, he, who, he's scoring a lot. Bocchetti is scoring a lot. He's a very good defender. I'm drinking coffee. There is Bocchetti. And then minute 69, <laughs> a hat-trick, a hat-trick by Aliore or however you pronounce it. You see how he's going inside, Alione, bam, minute 70, one minute later, one minute later. Weiss, Hernandez, I'm still playing with Hernandez, and then a good shot by Hernandez anyway. And then in minute 78, Weiss with the corner, and then Alione was there, bam. Libor Kozak, he's still scoring. Do you guys remember that I wanted to buy Libor? Bam. And he's playing awesome. Look, look at his score. And he's scoring fi he 15 goals this guy has scored. And last season he played very well. And now he's playing very well again. And I actually wanted to purchase him, if you if you remember. I still have, in a way, a problem with uh, with the strikers. Like Jalev Vossen, mm, right. He's still not playing. Well, I'm still... I'm, basically playing him as a substitute anyway uh forestieri i frankly don't really remember him <laughs> that much um on the field like i don't have something in my mind that yeah yeah this is forestieri who played well and basically i'm playing with hernandez who overall his score is pretty low but what are you going to do and his um value is pretty high i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to purchase him next season or loan him again but I guess in, in the formation that I'm currently playing, having a poacher, I need to put it as a poacher, is a pretty good choice, I think. I think I'm open to suggestions. And basically, G Jesse, <laughs> his contract is expiring, so I can sign him right now. Uh, his current ability is three stars and a half with a potential ability of four stars and a half. But I tried to loan him and he has accepted. So I said, OK, let's test him out. But uh, as you see, I haven't played him too much because he's still not match fit. And um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about him. It might, it might be a good idea to sign him. Let's compare him with uh, Javier Hernandez as a poacher, as a what? What's uh, Jesse best uh, as an advanced forward, they say. But as a poacher, he's still pretty good as a poacher 
Anyway, so let's let's compare him. Compare with Javier Hernandez as a poacher attack. So basically, as you can see, Hernandez, a lot of red here on Hernandez side, a lot of red. Uh, so basically, good, better dribbling from G Jesse. But as a poacher, well, they say that dribbling is important as a poacher, but usually a poacher will try to beat the offside trap, so he's just going to run. But maybe it's, or maybe, maybe actually it's a good idea. Uh, he gets the ball on his feet, and then he will simply try to dribble and then simply run. So better finishing, first touch a bit better on this side. Long shots, better for Jesse, better passing, better technique. That's not bad. But, however, Hernandez is better on anticipation, on, on mental abilities, right? With anticipation, composer, which is very, very, very important. Concentration, um, determination of the ball is super, 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 super important. And look, Hernandez has 19. That's a lot. And then, of course, acceleration and all that stuff. So... Well, if, if Jesse is going to come for free, that's going to be okay. So, I guess this is it. I haven't been active on transfers at all. I've only signed some contracts. Well, oh, never mind. I actually got this guy on loan as a backup for a defensive midfielder. Because, as you know, I only have Suni, who's like a very, very, very backup. <laughs> like, I don't really want to play with Suni. Uh, and I have the, heck, not this guy, where, where is it, where is it, where is it, guy, Gary Mandel, so, but he's getting red cards and stuff like that, so, <laughs> I sometimes need the backup, so this is why I'm, I'm, I took him, so let's go back again at, yeah, Luca Antonelli left, well, he's still in the team, but he's going to leave, I'm still paying him, basically, uh, hey, this guy is joining Watford. Okay, I guess I forgot about him. For free, I got him for free. Victor Valdez is going to leave, unfortunately. And look, Faraoni, long throws, 16. So this guy is getting pretty good, actually. His value is also pretty high, and his salary is not really that high. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, to a format. Hmm, hmm, oh, this is bad. This is bad. You see? This is what you get when you don't check your... Yeah, I'm not really familiar with this tactic. I haven't checked my second tactic in a long, long, long time. So this is why we have a problem now. Because I'm going to play with Arsenal right now and they are playing very, very good. And I do expect to lose. So this is why I want to change the tactic. I haven't changed the tactic in a long, long time. And I'm actually, I'm actually going to cast this game now this is why i'm advancing right now so how are you guys with who are you playing with who are you playing right now what other team oh i'm not sure if i talked as i've said before sometimes when i'm doing stuff i'm imagining that i'm already when i'm playing i'm, I'm imagining what i'm going to say when i'm going to cast so i'm not sure if i showed you this guy or not when when did when did he joined well, this season, but I don't know. But this is the reason why I got this guy. For once, he's English. Well, he was like three stars, but now, right now the um, Cole says that he's, he's two stars and a half. He doesn't have like a true weak aspect, but his uh, strongest is speed and acceleration, which is good for a defender left, keep in mind, right? So, tackling 14, passing 14, marking 14, long shots 15, which is, man, doesn't matter right now. First touch 13, which is okay. Crossing 13, as you know, I like my uh, wing backs to have crossing. Work late 16, which is good. Uh, teamwork uh, 14. Strength 17, which is good. And he's also very good at physical, right? So I'm not sure why the why the assistant manager is saying that he's that weak. But the reason why I bought him, I bought him for um, 5 million. <laughs> Everton bought him for 1.3. The reason why I bought him is because, look, he for only 16 games, he played so well for Everton and he even scored 5 goals and 3 assists. And the second reason is that, uh, as you know, Antonelli is going to leave. Um, my Scottish guy, Russell Martin, he is not really that great. And uh, I was playing with uh, uh, Smith 
as a defender left right and he was doing a good job as you can see here but he's mainly a defender right so let's see how he's going to play i have no idea so let's advance some more i was uh, thinking on maybe football manager 2015 to start to play with everton because i want to train late on baines <laughs> And I should actually play some chill music in the background next time because it's that quiet. It's th there is like no sound, only my voice. Only my voice. Hopefully you can hear me right now. I, I did basically no test, <laughs> so no sound check at all. Okay, I was trying to get um, a guy from Brazil. A uh, 20 years old guy, very, very good, very, very good. I, I should actually show it to you. Uh, he decided to come, but then he didn't got the work permit twice. So that's very, very unfortunate. And that guy is awesome. Let me show it to you. Okay, Arsenal is going to come. Popov, this is a striker that's going to join... Uh, yeah, F FC Bayern bought him. Look how good he is, look how good he is. And they bought him for... Oh Jesus Christ! Only that, and I know for I know I know about this guy for a long time. Why didn't I bought him? Why didn't I try to buy buy him? Maybe, maybe I did, but he didn't agree on the contract or something. Jesus Christ! Look, thirty three games played, and he scored twenty three goals. Uh, thirty three, twenty three. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ this is going to be this is going to be like an amazing player. Well, maybe this is a good idea that I'm playing and I'm doing more episodes per season because this will allow you to see more on what's happening with the game. This amazing player for Arsenal. And uh, yeah, Rudy basically signed a new contract. I had an option to get Rudy, who's good, who's good. But I said, oh, never mind, I have Valdez anyway. And then he signed a new contract and I was like, oh, shit. And it's my fault that Valdez is leaving because I totally, totally, totally forgot to offer him a contract before the six months period. So, yeah. And I said that I was going to show you that Brazilian. Let me show you the playlist that I have. Well, I still think that I did a pretty good team at Watford. However, I, we were doing better with Wolves, when we were playing with Wolves last, last season, right? So, m my cat is doing some stuff. <laughs> yeah, always doing nasty stuff, the cats, Jay Rodriguez. Maybe I should buy, I was actually thinking on buying him, but Newcastle bought him some time ago. He's not playing really that well. Oh, shortlist is what I wanted. Uh, this is my shortlist for youths. And let's see what's the Brazilian, this guy. Yeah, this guy, this guy. <sighs> and he's free. I can offer him a contract. He accepted, he decided to come. Three stars and a half, yeah. But He's not really that good, like important matches and stuff like that, but for free. And now he doesn't want to talk with me because he knows that he's not going to get a contract. This guy is already transferred. Red. I, I've lost. This is the, one of the downsides. With Wolves in 2013, I already had Luca Hammer and other good players, but now I only have the goalkeeper, basically, who's. I still think he's good and he's going to become good. Okay, mm, Bocchetti here, this might be a bad choice changing the tactic, but let's see, they are still a little bit familiar with it, right, uh, and this you're going to be inside forwards, like all my settings are changed, uh, inside forward, let's see, I haven't paid attention to this in a long long time so a deep lying forward uh, sorry a deep lying playmaker uh, Roman but he's also at nine 
don't have too many choices anyway. Oh, I can play with Tom Carney, who's not injured anymore. Well, basically as an AP and as an, uh, a playmaker, attacking playmaker, we're going to put Canteros, of course, look how good he is. But as a deep lying playmaker, so basically the deep lying playmaker operates in the space between the defense and the midfield and aims to initiate attacking moves via point passes. Yeah, if you see, he, uh, he also needs to be competent in the art of defense, which I don't really... Box-to-box -box midfielder. Who do I have? Tom Corney, what's his stamina? 15. Playing, hmm, how should it be to play Tom Corney as a box-to-box? -box? With look, box-to-box -box as a support. He doesn't have marking. But he has the other abilities and also let's play Carney as a box to box and see how that goes. Because why not? We are going to lose this game anyway, right? I'm going to put Hernandez in and I'm going to put uh, Jesse to be honest because I really want to test him. That's also, we don't have a goalkeeper. One hand, we are going to start the game without a goalkeeper. Uh, where is Delac? Here. And then here we'll have Wais. Who has been playing a lot of games because I don't really have a good good backup. Uh, Snodgrass was injured. He seems to be okay now. For Estieri, he's uh, going to be a backup. Ermenko, we are going to have Tommy Smith, and then Tommy. Okay, this is the team. Let's go. Let's go, and let's hope we are going to win. I forgot to save. Doesn't matter. But hopefully, we are not going to get any crash, even that I'm recording. Sometimes it's becoming a bit unstable. This guy is very tall. Basically, that's his advantage. But he's and he's playing like amazing. Look how informed he is. He's playing amazing. Jesus Christ! This guy not playing that well, but um, Wilshire. Oh my God! I'm not going to. Oh my God! Look, I <laughs> I made a mistake. To look at his stats. Jesus, we are so going to lose this game. Dude, this guy is I'm sad. Anyway. Let's just go with it. Oh, I was trying to buy that Luke Shaw. I was trying to buy Luke Shaw. And I will try to buy Luke Shaw. I don't know. Actually, I, do, I don't know. Because next season, depending on when we are going to finish, uh, I will try to buy some kind of youngsters. Like, really, really buy a lot of youngsters. Because we need to think about the future. And spending $50 million on Shaw... For a defender left, I don't know. We might be able to get like three youngsters for that price. You see, goal. And who scored? The Croatian. We're still doing pretty well anyway. We have we have like the best season so far. So I'm not really really complaining, but we have to see. We, we, we were maybe doing that well because we had Valdez, right? And now we have a very young goalkeeper, an 18 years old goalkeeper. Like I never had a, a fall penalty. I never ever had such a young goalkeeper. I mean, with Wolves goal, 2-0, imminent 17. Um, with Wolves, we had the old goalkeeper. We had Hennessy with Wolves. And he was good. I mean, he was decent. And then we bought Der, then Der Stang, Stangen or something like that. But we bought Der Stangen when he was like eight, uh, 23, 24 or something like that, I believe. Hernandez. Eh. I didn't even check more direct passing. Passing to space, play out defense, has lapons, higher tempo, run for positions. This is because I'm playing counter-attack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you doing, Biggs? Whoa! And goal. 3-0. To go. Oh, it won't count. But it was still a very good occasion. Two minutes later, after we received another goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to lose this one. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Surprisingly, I'm not sure what Arsenal is doing 
Well, they are going. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so what the hell was that? He's all like, boom, like boom. Three zero. Ten minutes from the last goal. Coker six point five five point eight now. Another one. Look, another one. What that? Okay, Sako. Pedro Obniang. Jesus, look how they pass. Like, who the hell is passing like that? Ways. Hernandez, go, run. Run, Hernandez. Oh my god, Hernandez, run. See, that's where the dribbling had factor had to come into. I need to finish that coffee. Yellow card for. <laughs> Gary Mendel. Yeah, great. E three zero. Everyone is being motivated. And we might do something but how it will be Forestieri is a a missile and I actually planned to play him. Let's do something like this. And substitute Mendel. Well I was planning on playing Forestieri, but since I'm going to do it like this, like this, and substitute Mandel. Huh. We don't have that ball winning midfielder, the lone, as a substitute. And we're just going to play Armenko as a deep lying, as a support. Well, it's 3 0 anyway for us, right? Like, why don't spice things up a bit? Let's see how many goals we are going to take now. Since they are motivated, it might come into play. Oh, corner for them. Good job. Goal! 4 0. 4 0. Like, I, I can't even figure it out how did I manage to win in the first part of the season with. I believe I beat. I beat at Arsenal then. I know for a fact that I beat at Manchester City. And they have, like, an awesome team. How did I manage to beat them? Let's actually play GSA. I want to see how he plays. Waze, Carney, Hernandez, Waze. <laughs> they closed him up. Yeah, yeah. Bocchetti, ah. We still had a couple of occasions if you look at, at this. And the possession is not really that in their favor, but they had a pretty good Cocker, let's substitute Cocker he played like shit and poor poor guy, oh my god this, this guy is really, the goalkeeper is going to be destroyed now, the young goalkeeper but I'm not sure he, was it his fault for getting these goals, I don't think so why, because we he took like he took like five goals from Reddit. Uh, Reddit, lol, Reddit. <laughs> Not Reddit reading. Yeah. Where is it? Here, one five with reading, and he was playing then. You see who was the goalkeeper? So this guy basically took 14 goals. Poor guy, poor guy. He never had a chance. Anyway, guys, anyway, this is it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to gamerpad.com slash giveaway and check out the weekly giveaways and check out the new website. I'm open for suggestions. Thank you. Goodbye.